In this time, I will show you how to make round motif with 3D floral center. Then I show you how to join them together in large piece of work. For work, you need a ball of yarn and a crochet hook. Begin the work. Make a chain of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And join the chain in the round by working a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. The ring is ready. Chain to bring up the yarn. Make 15 single crochet into the ring. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. I'm about to complete this round. Work a slip stitch into the chain stitch at the beginning of this round. Round is done. Chain through the wing of the yarn. Then chain of three by pattern. Make double crochet to the second stitch. Then chain of three. And double crochet, we skip the next stitch and double crochet to the second stitch. Chain of three and double crochet into the second stitch. So continue working this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete this round. I did three chains. Work a slip stitch into the third chain stitch at the beginning of this round. Round is ready. Make chain, make a slip stitch into the chain stitch. Chain to bring up the yarn. Make half double crochet. And three double crochet into the same chain space. One, two, three. Make half double crochet and single crochet. The first petal is ready. Make single crochet into the next chain space, half double crochet, three double crochet, one. Two, three, half double crochet and single crochet. So continue working this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete this round. Work a slip stitch into the chain stitch at the beginning of this round. Round is ready. Make a chain to bring up the yarn. Turn the work to the back side. Insert the hook around the chain, make back post slip stitch chain three to bring up the yarn then chain of five by pattern
yarn over the hook make back post double crochet around the double crochet of the lower row then chain of five yarn over the hook make back post double crochet make a chain of five make back post double crochet around the double crochet of the lower row here what we have so continue working in this way till the end of this round I'm about to complete this round work a slip stitch into the third chain stitch on the beginning of this round This is the back side of the motif. Make a slip stitch into the chain space. Chain to bring up the yarn. Make two single crochet into the chain space. Then chain of three. Then three single crochet into the next chain space. One, two, three. Then chain of three. Make three single crochet. One, two, three. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete this round work a slip stitch into the chain stitch on the beginning of this round make a slip stitch into the next stitch chain to bring up the yarn make single crochet into the single crochet then two single crochet into the chain space then chain of four make four single crochet I skip the first stitch begin from the second stitch one two make two single crochet into the chain space one and two chain of four make four single crochet in a row skip the first stitch and begin from the second single crochet two three and four so continue working in this way till the end of this round i'm about to complete this round work a slip stitch into the chain stitch in the beginning of this round round is ready make a slip stitch into the stitch then chain to bring up the yarn 
make four single crochet one two make three and four chain of four make five single crochet we skip the first stitch begin from the second one one two three and four five chain of four make five single crochet we skip the first stitch and single crochet into the second stitch one two three four and five so continue working in this way till the end of this round i'm about to complete this round work a slip stitch into the chain stitch at the beginning of this round round is ready work a slip stitch into the next chain stitch chain to bring up the yarn make five single crochet one two three four five and chain of five six single crochet we skip the first stitch begin from the second one first one two three four five six chain of five and six single crochet we skip the first stitch begin from the second one one two three and four five and six so continue working in this way till the end of the sound i'm about to complete the sound work a slip stitch into the chain stitch on the beginning of this round row is ready work a slip stitch into the next stitch chain to bring up the yarn make six single crochet one two three four five six chain of six seven single crochet we skip the first stitch and single crochet into the second stitch one two three four five and six seven chain of six and seven single crochet we skip the first stitch and single crochet into the second stitch one two three four five six and seven so continue working in this way till the end of this round i'm about to complete this round work a slip stitch into the chain stitch on the beginning of this round round is ready 
make a slip stitch into the next stitch, then chain to bring up the yarn, seven single crochet stitches in a row, one, two, three, four, five, six and seven chain of seven and eight single crochet skip the first stitch and single crochet into the second stitch one two three four five, six, seven, and eight, chain of seven, and eight, single crochet, begin from the second stitch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete this round. Insert the hook into the chain stitch by working a slip stitch. Row is ready. Make a slip stitch into the next stitch, chain to bring up the yarn, then six single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, then chain of four, Make single crochet into the chain space, then chain of four, then seven single crochet. We skip the first stitch and single crochet into the second stitch one, two, three, four, five, six seven then chain of four then single crochet into the chain space then chain of four we skip the next stitch and begin seven single crochet from the second stitch six, seven. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete this round. Work a slip stitch into the chain stitch at the beginning of the round. Row is ready. Make a slip stitch more into the next stitch. Chain to bring up the yarn. Make four single crochet in a row one, two, three, four, then chain of four, single crochet into the chain space, then chain of four, make single crochet into the next chain space chain of four make five single crochet we skip the first stitch begin from the second stitch one two three four five 
then chain of four make single crochet into the chain space chain of four and single crochet into the next chain space chain of four and five single crochet we begin from the second stitch one two three four five so continue working in this way till the end of this round i'm about to complete this round work a slip stitch into the chain stitch on the beginning of the round round is ready work a slip stitch into the next stitch chain to bring up the yarn and two single crochet chain of four and single crochet then chain of four and single crochet chain of four and single crochet chain of four and three single crochet begin from the second stitch chain of four make single crochet then chain of four then single crochet into the next chain space chain of four make single crochet chain of four And three single crochet begin from the second stitch so continue working in this way till the end of this round I'm about to complete this round I chain in the last one work a slip stitch into the chain stitch row is ready make a slip stitch into the chain stitch make a slip stitch into the stitch then chain to bring up the yarn then chain of four make single crochet chain of four and single crochet chain of four and single crochet chain of four and single crochet chain of four make single crochet into the middle single crochet of these three chain of four make single crochet into the chain space chain of four make single crochet chain of four make single crochet chain of four and single crochet chain of four make single crochet into the middle single crochet so continue working in this way till the end of this round i'm about to complete this round make a chain of two 
make half double crochet into the chain stitch in the beginning of this round. Chain to bring up the yarn, then chain of five. Make single crochet, then chain of five and single crochet, chain of five and single crochet. Chain of five and make single crochet. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete this round. Instead of last chain space, I did two chains. Make double crochet into the chain stitch at the beginning of this round. Row is ready. Chain to bring up the yarn. Then chain of five. Make single crochet into the chain space. Chain of five. And single crochet. Chain of five and single crochet, chain of five and single crochet. So continue working in this way till the end of the sound. I'm about to complete the last round of this motif. Work a slip stitch into the chain stitch in the beginning of this round. I cut off the yarn. The motif is ready. Then I show you how to join two motifs together. This is the first motif. This is completed motif. This is my current motif. I do not finish it. I take their backs together. My current motif is closer to me. Let's begin the work. Instead of five chain space, I did two chains. Insert the hook into the chain space, make single crochet, then chain of two, make single crochet into the next chain space, chain of two, make single crochet into the next chain space of the completed motif. Chain of two. Make single crochet to the next chain space. Chain of two. And single crochet into the next chain space. Chain of two. Make single crochet into the next chain space. Let's look what we have. We have done joining in three points. We need to do four more times. Chain of two. Make single crochet, chain of two. Then single crochet. Chain 
چین افتون Make single crochet chain of two and then single crochet into the next chain space one two three four five points we need to do two more one two chains and single crochet Then chain of two and single crochet into the chain space. Chain of two. Let's make the last joining. Make single crochet. Chain of two. And single crochet into the next chain space. Let's look what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. We have done joining in seven points. Then you should crochet the last round of the current motif. I have done joining on one side and I completed the current motif. Now I'm going to work with large piece of work. In this case, I'm going to join my current motif to another two. I didn't finish it. I just began the last round. Firstly, I'm going to attach to the top motif. After that, I show you how to join to the side motif. I will leave three chain spaces in the each motif. Take their backs together. The current motif is closer to me. From this point, I will count 10 chain spaces. 1, 2, 3 are for the middle part. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, I'm going to begin from this chain space. Let's begin the joining. Instead of five chain space, I did two chains. Insert the hook into the chain space. Make single crochet. Chain of two. Make single crochet, chain of two, make single crochet into the next chain space, chain of two, and single crochet into the chain space. Chain of two. single crochet into the chain space, chain of two, and single crochet into the chain space. Chain of two. Make single crochet. Chain of two. Make single crochet, chain of two and single crochet. Chain of two, 
and single crochet chain of two and single crochet chain of two and single crochet let's count one two three it will be the last joining point chain of two make single crochet chain of two we continue the work make single crochet pull up the working loop let's look at the first side we have done joining in seven points let's make three free chain spaces chain of five for the chain space make single crochet chain of five make single crochet chain of five and make single crochet after the joining we have done three free chain spaces now let's work with the next motif pull up the working loop we need to count four chain spaces from the last joining one two three are for the free space and begin from the fourth chain space chain of two insert the hook into the chain space make single crochet chain of two continue working make single crochet as you can see three very chain spaces are for the middle part and we begin from the fourth chain space we continue chain of two make single crochet into the next chain space chain of two and single crochet chain of two and single crochet chain of two and single crochet we have done joining in three points we need to do four more you should continue working in this way till the end of this row by yourself I have done the second side of the joining and as you can see I have already finished my current motif let's repeat again as you remember I have done joining in seven points to this motif then I work it with the side motif I left three chain spaces in each motif now I show you how to fill in up the middle space let's begin the work chain of seven join the chain and round by working a slip stitch into the first chain stitch chain make 11 single crochet one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. To complete this round, work a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. Chain to bring up the yarn. Chain of five by pattern. Now I show you how to join this small motif. You can begin the joining from any space. I begin from this side. Insert the hook into the working loop. Take this motif. I have done five chain space. Make single crochet into the, this chain space. Chain of five. Make single crochet into the stitch of the previous row. Five chains. Make single crochet. Chain of five and single crochet. Chain of five. Make single crochet into the chain space. chain of five and single crochet I have done joining to the first motif then I'm going to work with the next one Make a chain of five. And make single crochet into the chain space. Chain of five. And single crochet. Chain of five and single crochet. Chain of five and single crochet. Chain of five. Make single crochet, chain of five, continue working on the middle part, make single crochet. I have done joining to two motifs. We have done joining in six points. So continue working in this way till the end of the space. Let's complete this row. Let's make the last joining point. 
make single crochet make a chain of five work a slip stitch into the chain stitch in the beginning of this round let's look what we have done here how the middle part looks like and while making the last round of the middle motif I join it to the fourth motif four motifs today we have learned how to make round motifs and join them together in large piece of work don't miss our new video tutorials and please visit our store thanks for watching